Hi guys, this is AC Gamer I'm back with another video on Brandos 2. Now, honestly, I have to big the biggest recognition to Brandos 2 devs team because they are honestly one of the best devs I have seen. They have seen that there are so many issues in the game. They have listened to the players and they've actually released multiple dev notes talking about how they're going to fix the issues that players are picking on up on. And honestly, this is fantastic to see. So many other gacha game devs, they know this issue is there. They don't listen to the player base. So many players complain and complain but nothing is changed however Brandos 2 have acknowledged all these issues and are finally doing something about it and I have to give them big props for that they are fixing the issue with five star characters being so bad in terms of usability that many people are not actually using them they fixed the issues of grinding being absolutely annoying and tedious and monotonous they fixed the issues of like packages in game being actually kind of bad and they fixed the issue of missions just taking way too long and I have to give them a huge rock and prep prep prop sorry honestly the best devs I have ever seen and I'm actually happy to continuously play this game and I hope they reach out to me you know for like future collaborations or something like that because I love this game so yeah Brandos 2 came out with another dev note talking about some of the issues we have uh, you know pointed out and talking about fix they are going to be bringing out now I'm going to not read all of this though I'm going to be skimming through it because I don't want this video to be too long and just basically me reading off the note that would be extremely boring so I'm just going to you know summarize all the stuff that you have actually mentioned in here and uh, honestly big props big props so if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on brandos 2 make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure that post notification is on when the balancing is done to five star character i will be making new tier lists because currently the tier lists are just basically the best characters are three stars and four stars now with the new buffs they're going to be bringing to the five star characters this is going to essentially uh, you know put five star characters as potential characters to use now and tier lists will be need new tier lists will need to be made and uh characters will need to be tested out to see how good they are and honestly i am going to be there for that so i'm going to be recording a video it's going to be helping out everyone so make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on and if you guys enjoyed this video help me out by liking this video and let's get right into it now basically they just acknowledged all the issues in the game they talked about fatigue concept fatigue improvement performance in the early game for five star costumes and packages um and they just basically said that many people have sent them uh, complaints or like opinion regarding the fatigue and issues and they have actually agreed with it over here and they realized that it's putting a burden on players that are enjoying brandos too which on my days the the fact that they can acknowledge all of this issue is big props big props i'm looking at you um I don't want to say another game's name because I don't want to, I don't want to get um, I don't want to get heated up. But yeah, I'm actually loving this right now. Um, in addition, we're reviewing an adjustment of uh, basic five star characters. Basically, the buff they're going to be doing for five star character is giving them the early buffs that they were meant to get by getting multiple dupes, giving the giving those buffs to them at their standard and base form, and that is like the minus one SP requirement. That is going to be given to the older base so technically all the five star characters will have the sp cost reduced by one and essentially that should hopefully help them be more usable usable sorry so characters with like five cost uh, sp cost required will be going down to four characters with a free cost will go down to two and honestly it's just going to help root out which is the cat girl with uh free cost for a skill now that will go to two and that is actually going to make her very very strong but um whatever anyways um so this is going to be the adjustment they're going to be doing to the event quest so today's quest weekly missions and season pass this is the changes they're going to be doing over here lucky for us they actually provided us with a table so we can see all the current issue well the current um application and then the improvement they're going to be doing right now so in terms of the daily missions having to defeat enemies by three times has been reduced to one weekly missions defeat enemies in the battle 15 times which was insane that was way too long has now been reduced to five times and then the season pass honestly the longest one though completes today's quest 16 times has been changed to one huge shout out this is amazing changes now mirror war ap which is basically the arena they have basically made sure that you don't have to log in every single time to mid max using your arena um, challenge um, coins or challenge resource um so basically after reset they'll just flat out increase uh, or give you a 40 um resource required to um, do your arena so you can do arena 40 times a day which is absolutely amazing you don't have to wait for it to recharge and you have 22 or 24 hours to you know use all the 40 of them which is absolutely amazing now just in case you also buy extra 
um, arena resources over here called blood cocktails essentially if you guys are worried about having to buy it and forget to actually use it well the the blood cocktails will actually carry on to the next day as well so you don't have to worry about losing out on those resources that you spent your gems to buy um so that is actually quite good um change to regeneration times for objects slash items of monsters so this is the current table of um you know times we can do certain stuff so still currently has like a 40 24 hours um to refresh uh regular field mission a uh, monster sorry one minute uh one hour two hours blah 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 now that has been improved and basically regenerates after 22 hours so this cuts down on the amount of farming you have to do and actually significantly reduces the amount of play time you have to do in the game i'm not sure whether this is a good thing or a bad thing but i would like the idea of like farming less so i'm actually gonna be happy with this now to help us with that since they're going to reduce the amount of times these items can be used they're going to be or um yeah can be farmed they're basically going to increase the rewards so i am actually there for that so i'm actually happy they're going to be doing that um however if the above changes are made it may be inconvenient to tour or package packages once a day we are also aware of this and will add content slash system to improve the inconvenience in the future so not only have they acknowledged that the changes for this specific stuff will actually introduce another issue they have acknowledged that and have also said they're going to add an improvement or and a system to help with it in the future damn these devs are amazing the best devs nikkei please look at this honestly um the monster respawn time changes blah 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 we've already talked about that reduction of rice and in cost now this is probably my favorite thing about the dev note they mentioned in cost is way too expensive now currently i have way more characters than multiple people in the game i've summoned i've done like a bunch of summons i have multiple characters and honestly i did accidentally kill every one of my characters and then when i wanted to re um revive them it cost over 50k gold to revive them which was insane and uh that, that was not what i liked that was something i didn't like and a lot of people have also mentioned it and it makes hp be such a thing you need to keep and maintain make maintaining your hp was very very hard in this game honestly and it was insane reduction to rice as well help um with farming i guess um the, pur the purchase method of rice sold in a store will be changed from a step-by-step -step price increase to a single price method so i believe the current one is like 170 to purchase 40 um rice now you there and then after that it's like 400 or something but they've changed that now you can ref, uh, you can refresh 10 times and the price will remain the same and they've also significantly or drastically lowered the uh, uh the burden of um or the cost sorry of the in recovery so there's drastically they even use the word drastically so imagine it's right now 50k to revive all your characters they would potentially reduce that to like 10k 15k that would be absolutely better honestly um i hope with all this balancing they're doing they're gonna give out resources to help as well because um i have used a lot of gems to recover my character not gems i use a lot of gold to recover my characters and right now my gold resources are significantly lower than it should be so i hope they can give out some gold resources to help with that um anyways five star character balance adjustment now i have one thing i might pick on this or pick nitpick on this is okay they're going to balance the five star characters but what if um we've used all our five star scroll and we used it on characters before are going to be better than the other ones but now that they got balanced with the minus sp required and now the other characters we didn't pick because they were not good at that time actually become better what are they going to do to compensate players who don't have five star scrolls right now are they going to give out scrolls five star scrolls to help people select the five star characters that are now currently good or are just going to leave uh, are they going to leave it as that um i hope they actually do give out more five star scrolls to just help out um i have two five star scrolls saved up right now so i think i'm going to wait until balance is done balancing has been added and i will test um out characters to see who, who is better like i said i will be making tier list so if you guys don't want to miss out on the future tier list when this adjustment has been made on the 6th of july i believe all of these updates will be made on the 6th of july then make sure you are subscribed or oh, this is a day before my results is released oh i don't like that i might be annoyed with my results and i might not want to make content oops um anyways so basically like i said the adjustment is basically a reduction of sp um minus one for all the characters so um characters like alec with a with a five cost sp has been changed to a four cost so on and so on so there we go 
um, however they will actually not change anything with the three to four star costumes so that um, it doesn't make people feel like wow they're just gonna nerf the three to four star characters uh, but I feel like also the amount of resources we've used for the three star and four star characters what if now five star characters are better than the three to four star characters are they gonna give us resources to help us level those characters up because we currently don't have resources to do that since we focused it on three stars and four star characters i feel like some of this stuff they could definitely improve on and you know help players not fall burdened by the changes um what else as we yeah, yeah, we've already talked about that improvements on information on new packages so so they were only change the packages in game one thing i had an issue with this game is i didn't want to spend money in it because there was not that many good packs i bought a monthly pack and the rest of the other packs in game were absolutely ass if i wanted to get gold there's literally no way i could buy gold with gems and uh there's no packs that give out um, gold as well so that just made no reason for me to spend the gems were costly as well so um it looks like they're going to be adding new packages as well um two new limited special dash packages sales are sorry the sale price is this i uh, need to convert this to see how expensive this is um, gonna be um but whatever package package products will continue to be added in the future good as many players give opinion blah 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 just acknowledging uh importance of user opinions so guys continue go over to the discord page on brown dust 2 and continue to leave out or leave your suggestions suggestions to actually help this game become better suspension of sale of premium monthly pass products so good um the, the, the deactivation of sale products yeah okay i feel like they're gonna improve it we continue to realize that we lacked in preparation in terms of product quality and convenience. Once again, we apologize to users who are looking forward to the game and had difficulty playing smoothly due to BM and other issues. Um, thanks to play and um, um, thank the play users who support the game. I support the game wholeheartedly. This is honestly the most fun game to be released in 2023. Screw you, um, Unkai Star Rail. <laughs> it's just a basic. Um, basic turn-based game but taking a look at brandos 2 this game is solid it makes me feel like a console game it makes us feel like a console game it reminds me of pokemon for some reason um we would like to update blah 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 oh on the 6th um on this july 6th the first new character pack exodus will be added this is the story of gray the mass the manager of blah 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 uh, we'll continue to learn from our users and improve the game I would like to say thank you again to everyone who gives a lot of advice to the development of Brandos 2. So, okay, on that note as well, I did make a video going over the issues of this game, like on the day or two days after the game was released. But unfortunately, I did actually receive a lot of dislike for, from Night White Knight saying that I, I was being too harsh on the game. Well, look, even the devs have acknowledged that the game had issues. So to everyone who disliked that video, it clearly shows that you guys have terrible opinions. Um, so I was right and you guys were wrong. That's all I had to say. My opinions are correct and you guys are wrong. So yeah, stay tuned for more content on Brown Dust 2 where my opinions are always correct and everyone else's is wrong. Okay, I'm just joking, guys. Don't start hating on the video. But anyways, stay tuned for more content on Brown Dust 2. Too. It's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm out.